Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Three Chord Dave, and today we're talking about Billy Joe Armstrong. He might be from Green Day, but he's got a pink case. Yes, folks, thank you for joining me. Welcome back to the channel. Billy Joe Armstrong has yet another Gibson signature Les Paul Jr. Bet you didn't see that coming. Anyway, we're gonna talk about it. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. That'll do it for you. Uh, hit the notification bell. Choose all notifications. Never miss an episode. Very important that you never miss an episode. We give away guitars here sometimes. When we do that, we do it on Three Chord Dave Live. That happens on a Saturday. So if you're free on Saturdays, come and join us, Three Chord Dave Live. We talk about guitars and music and things for about two hours. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. So if you like fun and you've got two hours, Get along to Three Chord Dave Live on Saturday. Um, finally, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below and tell us all about your thoughts on this guitar and others, if you'd like. Billy Joe Armstrong, the uh, frontman of Green Day, a band that I listened to so much in my teenage years that I had memorized pretty much every song, like just all of them. Uh, I used to love Green Day uh, and other bands, which I won't go into because it's embarrassing. But anyway, Billy Joe Armstrong, known for playing a Les Paul Jr. a lot. I think this is his 27th Les Paul Jr. signature edition from Gibson's or Epiphone. At some point, maybe not that many, but there's been a lot, is my point. In fact, wasn't the most recent one very recently? That's a sentence. Um, yeah, so these, there's two versions of this. You've got the vintage ebony gloss, or veg, and then you've got the Silver Mist. And I think the Silver Mist looks cool. It kinda looks like it's taken directly out of a black and white photo. That's the kind of silver finish I like. Uh, looks pretty cool. So yeah, digging that very much. And it's a Les Paul Jr. How fancy could it be? How much could they have done to it? Well, not much, to be honest with you. It's got a mahogany body with a mahogany neck, as you'd expect. Rosewood board, perfectly fine. Um, 22 medium jumbo frets. The neck has a signature Billy Joe Armstrong slim taper profile. Um, a one master volume, one master tone, of course, there. And you got a P90DC for a dog ear P90 style thing in the bridge. Now, can you tell me what the DC stands for in P90DC? I'll give you 10 seconds. Feck it, I'll just tell you, it's Decola, because this, is, this was designed by Jim Decola, um, and it features a modern version of the Sidewinder dual coil technology that was first developed by Seth Lover in 1958. So it promises to deliver a hum-free P90 with the most authentic P90 tonality yet, retaining the classic P90 while eliminating the noise. Now to me, all of that says, this is a P90 that doesn't sound like a P90, but it's kind of like a P90, so we're calling it a P90. So, nothing wrong with regular P90s, but they're saying, and I get the whole, it's not a humbucker, obviously. It's a single coil pickup. But um, yeah, they're saying it's a P90 that's not a P90, but it sounds like a P90, but not really like a P90. But it is a P90. Good, glad you cleared that up for us, Gibson, thanks. Uh, but yeah, Jim Decola, uh, pretty cool, so glad he's got his a bit of uh, attention there for that. Pretty cool that they've done that. However, these guitars are $24.99 and they're Les Paul Juniors and I think you might have to be a little bit of an obsessive Billy Joe Armstrong fan to go for this guitar over a Les Paul Standard which is $100 cheaper. So Les Paul Standard for $23.99 or a Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. for $24.99. Can you see where they're getting a bit messed up with their pricing? However, they might have just redeemed themselves with this. <laughs> this is a protector case and it's pink. I think this might be the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I know, I, look, I just think it's, I just think it's awesome. I think it's, it's gonna stand out on your guitar uh, rack. You would on your other cases, your browns, your blacks, your, might have a silver one or a gold one. This one's standing out. Um, yeah, it's bananas. That's great. I love it. Uh, it's got the leopard print interior that Billy Joe Armstrong has in a lot of his signature cases that come with Gibsons or Epiphones. But more than anything, this is a signature, obviously, case. It's one-off kind of thing. I don't know if these guitars are limited or in any way or whatsoever. They seem to have sold out already. Uh, I'm not sure if there's more coming, but if you've got $24.99, 
and you're looking at should I buy a Les Paul Standard or should I buy a Billy Joe Armstrong, a Les Paul Junior, would that push you over the line to spend the extra hundred dollars to to get the Les Paul Junior? I don't know. I don't know really if it's that cool because uh, you could have a Les Paul Standard, which is, I mean, that's that's the, that's what people grow up dreaming about, right? A Les Paul Standard. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, I think it's cool. I love Billy Joe Armstrong. I love listening to Green Day in my late teens. I love listening to Green Day in my early forties. So. I, I still love them. I think they're a great band. I've seen them live a few times. They were awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan. So when it comes to Billy Joe getting a signature model, I, there could be worse guys getting them, honestly. But the pink case, I think it's hilarious. I think it's wonderful. And uh, if they sold these by themselves, I'd pick one up just to piss people off. But I know there will be a lot of people who will not buy the guitar purely because of the pink case. And really, if you're one of those people, you need to just get over it. It's a cool case. Um, let me know what you think of these guitars. Whether you think it's a better proposition than a Les Paul Standard, in which case we need to maybe have a conversation. Like, would you buy one of these over a Les Paul Standard and pay $100 more? Would you? I don't, I can't see anyone doing that. Anyways, um, yeah, it, let me know your thoughts completely about this guitar. Uh, it, it's cool, it is cool, but is it too much? Anyways, I'll be back with another guitar-related video very soon. But until then, take care.